What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to root a Chromecast. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I want to root my Chromecast? Well for me, the main advantage is that it will allow me to change my DNS addresses so that I can watch region locked content. There's a few other benefits as well, so if you're up for it, you should give this new root exploit a try. It's from the developers at Team Eureka, and this method even installs their custom ROM on your Chromecast automatically. Now here in front of me are all the pieces of hardware that you'll need to get this going. First up is a micro USB cable with a power source. Any micro USB will do the trick, even the one that came with your Chromecast. Next, you'll need a USB mini cable, which is just a little bit larger than the micro USB. Still has the same port on the other end though. Now the third thing is a bit less common. It's an externally powered USB on the go cable, or USB OTG. You can get one of these off Amazon for about five bucks. But basically, it has a standard female USB connection on one end, then both a male and a female micro USB connection on the other end. So next, you'll also need a standard USB flash drive. Anything will do the trick here, just so long as it has at least a gigabyte of storage space. Then most importantly, you'll also need a Teensy, which is basically a programmable development board. These are available at PJRC.com for about 16 bucks, and that's what the USB Mini is for. Of course, the final piece of equipment is the Chromecast. It doesn't matter if it's new in box or if it's used. But from here, there's a bit of setup we'll need to do on a PC. So let's head over there. Okay, so I've connected my USB flash drive to the PC, and I've hooked up my Teensy using the USB mini cable. There are a few files that you'll need to download, but you can find links for all of these over at the full tutorial. So check out the link in the description below this video to get all of your ducks in a row. But first, go ahead and open the hubcap.zip file and extract the contents into a folder somewhere on your PC. Next, you'll need to install Flashcast onto your USB flash drive. So take note of the drive letter for your flash drive, since that'll come in handy here in a minute. But from here, go ahead and install Win32 Disk Imager, which is the utility that we'll be using to put Flashcast on the thumb drive. Basically, just follow the prompts for installation. Then when it's finished, right-click the program icon and select Run as Administrator. From here, click the folder button, then browse to the hubcap folder that you extracted from that zip. After that, use the drop menu at the bottom right to change the file type to star.star. .star. Then select the hubcap flashcast.bin file and open it. Now before you go any further, make sure that the drive letter that's selected here matches the letter from your flash drive. If it does, go ahead and click right, then hit yes and let it do its thing. When it's done, head to my computer or this PC or whatever it's called, then right click the flash drive and select eject. You can now remove the flash drive from your computer if you want. So from here, head back to the folder where you have everything stored and run the teensy.exe file. On this tiny little screen, hit the first button to load a file onto your teensy. From here, browse to that hubcap folder again, but this time dip into the teensy files folder inside of it. You'll find four different files in here and they're each for a different set of hardware. If you went with the Teensy 2 Plus Plus, these first two files are for you. If your Chromecast is new in box, use the 12.940 file, but if it's used, go with the 16.644 file. The same applies if you went with a regular Teensy 2, which is what I did. So since my Chromecast is used, I'll go with the regular 16.644 file. Now from here, as the screen says, just press the tiny little button on your Teensy to begin. Once you've done that, the screen will change, then you can click the second button here with a little down arrow. You'll see it say programming briefly, then it'll say download complete. With that done, you can disconnect your Teensy and go grab all of your materials, because you're ready to root your Chromecast now. Okay, so basically all I've done out here is connect the micro USB cable to a power source. So yeah, just be sure that's plugged in. Then from here, grab your USB mini cable, then plug it into your Teensy. Take the other end of the USB mini and plug it into your USB OTG cable. So at this point, your Teensy is plugged into the USB OTG cable, where one end will be used for a power supply and the other will be used to connect your Chromecast. So yeah, next, just go ahead and connect the female end to your power supply. And now you have power going to the Teensy, then data going from the Teensy back to the male end of this cable. And you want to plug the male end into your Chromecast, but before you do that, find this little button. It's right here on the side, so make sure you have a firm grip on it, and go ahead and hold it down. 
Do this before you make the last connection and even keep it held down a little bit afterwards. Now while you're still holding it down, take a peek at the teensy. When you see the little lights start to flash, you can let go of the button on the Chromecast. At this point, it'll work its magic and it'll probably take a good 30 seconds. You'll know when it's done when the light on the teensy stops blinking, but I'd still say give it the full 30 seconds before moving off. Then when that's all said, you can unplug the teensy and you can even set it aside because we're done with it all together. Next, go ahead and grab the flash drive and hook it to the USB OTG cable. Once you have it connected, just press the button on the Chromecast one time. From here, it'll automatically root your Chromecast and install Eureka ROM. The process will take about 8 minutes, and depending on your Chromecast, you may not be able to tell when it's finished just by looking at the light. So my best suggestion here is to set a timer for 10 solid minutes, then come back and disconnect your Chromecast. At that point, you can go ahead and hook the Chromecast back up to your TV, and it should be rooted. Okay, so to check and see if you're rooted, just open the Chromecast app from your phone or tablet. From here, select your Chromecast, then scroll down to the bottom and look for the IP address. Once you've found that, just write it down somewhere. From there, you can use any browser to type that address in while you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, and you'll find the custom settings for your rooted Chromecast. Just poke around in here, and you'll see all the cool stuff that you can do now that your Chromecast is rooted. Now I know this is a lot to absorb from one video, and there are plenty of links and whatnot that you'll obviously need to get, but I have all of this covered in detail over at the full tutorial, so be sure to check that out. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy Chromecasting!